I'm Mark Dresner and this is Research TV, a special executive interview series bringing you the inside scoop from market research leaders and experts. Research TV is brought to you by the Market Research Event, the largest and most comprehensive conference in the world dedicated to elevating the business value of insights. Joining me today is Ruben Alcarez. He is the manager of market research and consumer insights for Meyer. Ruben, welcome to Research TV. Uh, let's start with a little bit about um, an idea that you brought up when we last spoke about, and that was um, the idea of retail as a brand. More specifically, you have kind of an interesting take on new stores as brand extensions. Can you elaborate on that for our audience? Sure. So I, I think to, to start, I, I should talk about, kind of just to frame it up a little bit more, the, the concept of uh, retail as a brand to me came because of my background. I started working um, with uh, CPG manufacturers and uh, I saw that there were a lot of tools and ways of measuring when a new product was launched. Well, when I started working in retail, I, I started realizing there, there was a lot of research that was being done in terms of understanding what was, what, where we're going to put the site, what we're going to do, and what happens, et cetera, et cetera. But the, um, the level of understanding and, um, I guess, a way of prediction, predicting success was somewhat different. So, um, so in terms of understanding retail as a brand, my idea was that you could probably take a lot of the learnings that we do when someone's going to launch a new brand and maybe apply those to the um, opening of a new store. Mm -hmm. How can uh, retail researchers think differently uh, about new stores according to this philosophy? I mean, would conventional uh, brand KPIs be sufficient here? or the, it, It's a bit of thinking differently, but it's mostly about taking the accepted ways of measuring results and applying it to retail. So, for example, there are plenty of um, information or plenty of research that's available on when a new brand is going to be launched. You know, there's research about its name, the type of um, consumer that they're going to track, what the distribution is going to be, and there are a lot of syndicated analysis that's released uh, in order to understand this by, um, by large companies. So, for example, you got your uh, CDI, BDI, which is category development indexes, uh, brand development indexes, you, you got your uh, trial and repeat, you got your heavy medium line analysis, you got your new loss retain analysis. And those are all tools that, uh, or approaches that work for brands. Now, again, based on the way I'm thinking about it, I would love to see the same type of analysis being used on what happens to a retailer. So for example, what type of customers we're attracting, where, where we're shifting customers away from, how developed is this market for this particular retailer, et cetera, et cetera. Are there any, um, do you have any thoughts for manufacturers and retail providers along those lines on how they can really help you ramp up what you're trying to do when you open a new store? Yeah, I, and I, I haven't come across that many uh, manufacturers that are thinking about it that way. Just to, to go back a little bit, I see a lot more similarities than I do than I see differences. So for example, when a new brand is created, I mean, its goal is to establish, you know, to reach maybe a, uh, a new consumer base, expand the distribution, and enhance the profitability for the whole portfolio. Well, for the retail, it's, the same, it's basically the same idea. Uh, when you open a new store, you, you expand your distribution, you're going to talk to um, or you're going to serve a different type of uh, customer or consumer, hopefully, um, and you are looking to enhance the profitability for the entire brand. Now, to me, it's interesting that, again, we're not, um, we're not necessarily all the time trying to leverage our uh, manufacturer um, partners to, to, to get some of the level of expertise and learnings that they have, not, not, just, not just from the manufacturing standpoint, but also from the, um, uh, from the syndicated data providers like the Nielsen, the MPDs of the world. I think they could be very helpful in helping us get there too. I think that you've given us some very good guidance, uh, particularly for manufacturers and their research partners on how to start thinking about 
stores as extensions of a brand. And on that note, I want to thank you very much, Ruben, for joining us today on Research TV. My pleasure. And that concludes this episode of Research TV. I'm Mark Dresner, and you've just heard the Insight Scoop.